Hello, and thank you for showing an interest in triple science at Sandbach High School. This short video is designed to outline the structure of the course and give you the information you need to decide if it's for you. You may well have questions at the end of the video, in which case the best option is to either talk to your science teacher or contact the head of Key Stage 4 for Science, Mr Hilton, whose contact details are at the end of the video. A few details about the course. Uh, it's called Triple Science. What that effectively means is you get three separate GCSEs in biology, chemistry and physics. We use the AQA exam board in common with most of the schools in Cheshire and it's 100% exams. There is no longer any coursework involved. It's all exams. There are six papers to do in the summer of year 11, two biology, two chemistry and two physics. And it's an alternative to studying combined science. So everyone will do it least the two sciences, uh, which is a double GCSE of combined science, but you have the option to do more science and do the triple science with the separate GCSEs. Information about the course, uh, the biology, there's two papers. We do paper one mainly in year 10, well, completely in year 10, and that covers cell biology, organization of those cells into tissues and organs and organ systems. We look at infection from diseases and the body's response to that infection and bioenergetics, which is photosynthesis and respiration. And then biology paper two, which we probably start just towards the end of year 10, but mainly into year 11 is homeostasis, inheritance, vari variation, evolution and ecology. In chemistry, paper one starts with the basics of the structure of an atom in the periodic table. We look at the bonding structure and properties of different types of matter. Uh, then we do some calculations in quantitative chemistry. We look at various reactions and chemical changes and energy changes. And then as we move on to paper two, we get into more detail on the rate of chemical reactions and the extent of those reactions. We look at organic chemistry, chemical analysis, which is useful for things like forensic science, the chemistry of the atmosphere, and the use of the plants limited at the planet's limited resources and in physics paper one in year 10 we study energy and electricity we look at the particle model of matter so solids liquids and gases and again we, we cover the structure of the atom but mainly focusing on the nucleus rather than the electrons that we studied in chemistry and in paper two we look at the forces look at waves magnetism and electromagnetism and also we spend some time looking at space so a solar system and the life cycle of a star now all of those topics with the exception of space are studied uh, in combined science as well but in less detail so if you choose triple science that means you study everything that's in the combined science course but you do go into lots more depth in various topics so including in biology for example the human body we look at the brain, the eye, the structure of DNA and genetics, which you wouldn't cover in combined science. We go into more detail in ecology, how different organisms interact. And we go into more detail on evolution as well. In chemistry, we get much more depth in nanotechnology. We look at fuel cells, uh, more depth on organic chemistry and analysis. And finally, in physics, we do topics related to engineering, such as gears, levers, hydraulics and transformers, which you wouldn't cover in combined science. And we also do the space physics topic, which, again, is not covered in combined science. So you do a lot of extra um, stuff and a lot more detail. In terms of career pathways, triple science is ideal for students who uh, enjoy the science, because if you choose triple, you'll be doing a lot of science. And if you're strongly considering a career in a STEM subject, such as something like medicine, veterinary studies, dentistry, engineering, biomedical sciences, marine biology, or any other type of scientific research. Now, you can study A-level sciences with just doing combined science at GCSE, and that might be the right thing to, you, to do for you because it keeps other options open for you. But if you do study triple science, that means you do have a broader grasp of the subject before starting your A-level course. So you get a little bit of an advantage at the start of the A-level course in that you'll have covered some of the topics that people who didn't study triple science won't have covered. In terms of what to expect, you will have five lessons of each science per fortnight. So that's five lessons of biology, five lessons of chemistry and five lessons of uh, physics so that's a lot of science so you have to enjoy your science to do this you will be taught by specialist teachers uh, if you do combined science you'll have two teachers who will cover the three subjects between them but at triple science you will have three teachers a biology specialist a chemistry specialist and a physics specialist each subject has around 10 practicals that are required by the exam board for you to do 
but you will do a lot more practicals than this. We're very passionate about practical work at Sandbach High School and we use the practicals to try and bring the science to life. So you'll do a lot more practicals than the 10 in each subject that are required by the exam board. And you'll be invited to join our Senior Science Society. So this is a, a club for year 10, 11 and 6th form uh, where we do some unusual practicals and demonstrations. We have external speakers in and there's various competitions that you can enter as well. So who should study this subject? Well, if you're someone who enjoys problem solving, if you're, if you're good at logical thinking, if you want to know how the world works, then triple science might well be the course for you. If you think you're likely to study at least one science at A level, so you're thinking of studying biology or chemistry or physics, or maybe more than one of them, then triple science again may well be the course for you. You perhaps would need to be reasonable at maths because there is since the new GCSEs came in, there is more maths within the science GCSEs. So if you're doing triple science, you'll be doing more maths than those doing combined science. You need to enjoy the practical side of science because we'll be doing a lot of that. And you also need to be prepared to work hard. 15 hours a fortnight of science is a lot of science. So you need to be, be prepared to work hard at it. Some additional information. Well, we're very proud of our triple science GCSE results. In 2018, we had 57% grade seven, 100% pass. Uh, grade seven is equivalent to the old A grade. Uh, 2019, 53% grade seven plus, 95% pass rate and 2020, although this was a bit unusual because there weren't any actual exams, 58% grade seven plus and 100% pass rate again. Um, so typically that is around 50 to 60% grade seven or A uh, or better in old type of uh, grades. Um, and we very, very rarely have someone who doesn't actually pass. And we've had increasing numbers of students doing triple science. Um, so this year we have 60 students doing triple science in three separate classes. Um, which means that class sizes tend to be a little bit smaller than in combined science. And we're proud of our alumni. We have uh, produced doctors, dentists, engineers, vets, nurses, research scientists. And a couple of years ago, we had one of our year 13 chemists who'd done triple science at GCSE, left us to join AstraZeneca as an apprentice. And last year, she won the Chemical Industries Association Apprentice of the Year. So we're very proud of, of her as well. So if you do have any questions about this subject, please, you can talk to your, your science teacher um, as a first contact if you want, or if you'd rather, you can email Mr. Hilton. He's in charge of Key Stage 4 for science, and his email is on the screen there, philton at sandbatchhigh.co.uk. Thank you very much.